Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Taylor Shedd. I'm the founder and CEO of Stimuli Education, and I have a really cool story to share with you all today. So let's rewind back to March 2020, when most of us got the same announcement that public schools were gonna shut their doors and students were gonna end up on a really long spring break. My company's based in Dallas, and I have a partnership with the Dallas Independent School District. And that day I'm going through, I'm actually driving in the car and things are flipping through my mind like, okay, I know the district has a plan to distribute Wi-Fi to every student in the district. They're already ahead of the game there. I knew that they had a plan to make sure the devices were one-to-one -one and they just had to get them out to elementary school students. But what they did not plan for is what happens when students need to get online. So today you're gonna hear a story about what the Dallas Independent School District, Dr. Hinojosa, and the Dallas Education Foundation came together to do in order to accelerate learning and to reform the classroom and change it from the way that it's been over the last 100 years. So welcome to our educational metaverse. Our goal with this platform is to build a strong community by exponentially improving the student learning experience. Oftentimes in education, we're about measurable outcomes and oftentimes you're just trying to get to the next data point and you're not trying to say, what can we do to actually meet students where they are and to drastically improve student outcomes? And that's what we're aiming to do. Now, if any of you have ever tried to sell a product into education, you know one of the first things teachers, administrators, and anyone will ask you is, is this adding time to my teacher's day or is this saving time? So again, back to March 2020, I had this conversation with Dr. Hinojosa and the Dallas Education Foundation. They said, okay, Taylor, do what you need to do. So my team went to action and we built a full virtual school district that hosted all of Dallas ISD's summer programs. So all those great things you all found out in the fall uh, with virtual learning where it was actually synchronous, where, oh my gosh, now all the students go on mute or um, they get really bored on Zoom after a long time. We had already discovered over that summer. And what Dr. Hinojosa said is, I need you to think a little bit bigger. So the thoughts you'll hear today and the action you'll hear today is just that, it's bigger. So uh, we started talking to different organizations like the Texas Education Agency, other school districts, and we most importantly, we talked to parents, teachers, and students, and what we found were that you can't solve the student engagement problem until you solve the amount of time that it takes for teachers to do the most simple task in the classroom. So the three problems that we're looking to solve here are how do we empower students by giving them a learning experience like unlike any other? How do we integrate applications that teachers are using every day in the classroom in order to save them time? And then how do we amplify data for how our students are performing so that a teacher in real time can make better decisions versus every six to nine weeks when those assessments are taken. So I'm so happy to introduce to you today a platform called Education OS. It's an operating system that connects the way our students, our users, the hardware and applications all work together. This has never been done before, but I want you to think about one simple thought. What if every teacher in America learn to use one simple application that connected to thousands of other applications that their school district chose to use. It's possible. So again, I've mentioned teachers clicking through many, many applications. A principal in Dallas ISD told me, Taylor, there's 23 applications and data sets I have to click through every single day. So my teachers are using multiple applications for grading, taking attendance, differentiating instruction, and personalized learning. Some of these applications and some of the things that our teachers are doing are not even done digitally yet. They're meeting in person, they're going over data, they're pulling how our students need to be accommodated in the classroom from binders. So with EdOS, we're seeking to change this. And as you can see, if you know anything about user interface design, the idea is that you take three clicks to get to the task that you wanna do. We're taking attendance from something that's 30 clicks to one to two clicks. So again, I'm just gonna speak to the main vision behind EdOS is a unified platform for the applications teachers and students use most. Now, one thing I don't want you to forget is students are using video games outside of school. So we wanna unify the entire experience. 
And where we wanted to start was with the four top learning management systems and student information systems. So again, I'm gonna make this picture very real for you all. Google Classroom, a lot of us used. A lot of school districts are using applications like PowerSchool. They do not talk to each other. So teachers grade over here, and then they have to go into another system and apply those grades. Teachers take attendance in one place, and they have to go and apply the attendance in another place. So we're merging all of those together. So um, one thing I should mention is sometimes when you're listening to folks talk, it's about a vision, and you're wondering, can they execute? This platform is being launched next Monday at Dallas Hybrid Prep. And Dallas ISD has said, Taylor, we want to be the laboratory for the rest of the entire globe to prove that Dallas ISD is the number one innovative school district in the world. But it needs to be done. And until a school district is standing by the innovators that are in the technology industry, it's going to be very hard to achieve success. So that's what we have here with this project. It's called Project Dream Big. If you ever see it online, it's referring to what we're doing with EdOS. So now I'm going to go through a little bit of what you're looking at on the screen here. So this grade book and attendance book was made by my designers. If you look at the grade book and attendance books that our teachers are using, they look so outdated. They're not user friendly. And in fact, I have many teachers saying, please help us. We don't like the way this technology works. So our application is pulling existing lesson plans from Google Classroom and loading them into a student gamified interface. I'll show you a demo in a second. We're pushing and pulling attendance from PowerSchool because that is the student information system that Dallas ISD utilizes. When teachers are creating lesson plans in our system, they're tied to state standards. So that means as a teacher, I can build a lesson plan. It can impact my students. And in real time, I can see what content was more impactful to that student and better inform my instruction for the following year. We're building interactive content with one of our content partners by the name of Kriki. It's like taking um, Nearpod and Pear Deck. If you're not an educator, what that is is it's making interactive videos, it's making interactive PowerPoints. It's something that students are able to engage with versus just stare and look at like a lecture. So we've integrated this all into one system. And what that's done for us is it's helped us create a super teacher. So let me tell you what you're looking at. Again, you're going to maybe learn way more about the classroom than you intended to today. In class every day, a teacher teaches to one standard. And at the end of the day or the end of the next couple of days, the teacher has to do something called a demonstration of learning, or some refer to it as an exit ticket, where they assess how that student has learned that standard. Well, if you look at this top user interface here, what you're looking at is four bands that students can follow on anywhere from does not meet, approaches, meets, or mastery. Most of the time, our educators are teaching to the bubble. They're teaching to the students that are far behind. And sometimes the students that are at mastery are being held back because they're not allowed to accelerate into the future. And we want to solve that with this system. So I'm going to walk you through how this works. A teacher builds a lesson plan. They load in interactive activities. They can press a button and launch it into the student's classroom. Those students engage in that content real time. And in real time, that teacher knows every question that that student has gotten right and every question that they've gotten wrong. And then they can decide what they want to do next with their lecture. So again, we want to amplify data so in real time, our teachers can address needs versus every six to nine weeks when we find out our students are not headed towards that category they need to be to pass the standards that they need to. So now we're, we're getting towards the fun part, back to the students. So if you talk to a lot of parents who um, were having to monitor their students during virtual learning, what you heard is, oh yeah, my, my kid was playing video games while they were on Zoom. My kid was searching YouTube. I've heard that my student had two different Twitter accounts that they were posting on while they were in class. This solution is better than Zoom. You cannot expect our students to learn for the jobs of tomorrow if we are not giving them the tools and the access that they need. And one thing that's really important about this is I need to take a step back and tell you a little bit about the Dallas Independent School District. Dallas ISD has 151,000 students, it's the second largest school district in Texas. 96% of those students are economically disadvantaged, and about 50% of them are English language learners. So Dallas ISD wants to start small with Dallas Hybrid Prep 
and they want to scale this up all across the district. But remember those demographics when I get to this next slide. So our educational metaverse looks unlike anything you've ever seen before. When we talk about gamifying education, we're not talking about just giving a student a point for getting a question right. What we're talking about is a student being able to select their avatar and their skin color. That's very important as well. They can walk through this world, and when it's time for them to get to class, they don't have to figure out how to get to class. A teacher presses a button, and they're launched from their game world right into their classroom. They engage in class within their avatar in a virtual conference that their teacher shows up in. And again, as a teacher launches an app, now the student isn't having to press tab to go into Khan Academy and then log in. Through single sign-on, they're getting right into the activities that they need. And again, the data flows right back to the teacher to give them what they need in real time. But there's something else really unique about this model when you put students within a video game and give them avatars and a world to play in. Every time a student turns in homework, shows up to class on time, helps a friend with the task, engages in social emotional learning or workplace learning, they're awarded with points. And then the student can take these points and upgrade their avatars. They can use it for building tools within this game world. They can buy real estate. They can design sneakers and sell to their friends. They can learn about the economy. Things right now that are not available in our classrooms. It gets even better. So, on the board of the Dallas Education Foundation is this wonderful gentleman by the name of Jim Keyes, who used to run 7-Eleven and Blockbuster. So let's say he knows about innovation. And uh, Jim said, can we make this where every time a student earns points, they get a micro scholarship, similar to how Raise Me does? So now imagine a student from a low-income school district, instead of having the thought that I'm gonna go into construction because that's what my family does, having the thought that, wait a minute, if I study a little more, I can earn a little bit more points and I can fill up that bank account and now college is accessible to me. Again, this sounds like a really big dream and it is, but we are making it happen in Dallas ISD with the Dallas Education Foundation and we're not doing it just for Dallas, we're doing it for everyone across the globe. So you might be wondering, Taylor, how are you doing this? This is a big project, are you doing it by yourself? The answer is no. We're working again with Dallas ISD, Dallas College, multiple industry partners, different curriculum providers. And I'll tell you, we wanna integrate with as many people as possible. So if you have an application that's interactive, if you have content that's going into our classrooms, we wanna make it just as easy for students everywhere to access your content in a way that's, learned, that's engaging for them. So you might be wondering what's next. One, um, Dallas ISD has 100 industry partners, and those industry partners are anybody from American Airlines, Microsoft, IBM, Southwest Airlines, Bell Helicopters, I could keep naming a few, and they've already committed to supporting the school district and have been partnering with the district over the last five years. And they've said, hey, Taylor, why don't we take an application like this and build digital career pathways? Sometimes it's hard for us to get Dallas students or any students within our headquarters, but within this game world, you can build a Toyota factory, and kids can learn about hydrogen cells, and they can talk to other people, and they can learn how to professionally dress, and they can practice mock interviews, all within this gamified world. So that's what's coming next with EdOS, and here's the kicker. We know that interactive content is what's going to drive this system and allow us to scale, grow, and sustain. So we're working on a game maker tool that will allow students, teachers, third-party application developers, and other companies to come into our world and build interactive experiences. Otherwise, these companies would have to hire Unity developers and manage a team and figure out how to work agile. But instead, we're gonna make a visual tool just like Roblox, or for others, think of YouTube and what YouTube did for creators and we're gonna make it possible for students to build their own learning experiences and to be empowered with their learning. So imagine as a student, my homework assignment is to go in and build an interactive experience teaching another student about the Million Man March from Martin Luther King. And then another student who might have a hard time grasping history is able to walk through and talk to Martin and talk to other people and get their perspective, immersive, engaging. It's never been done before, but that's what we're doing. 
So if you want to know what success looks like, we will know when we are successful, when students and most young adults are earning a livable wage. That's what we're after here. My first slide said we want to build communities by driving the student learning experience. That's exactly what we're focused on doing, is driving this data point over a long amount of time. We're in it for the long haul. Other data points that you'll see on here is increasing attendance, which increases revenue to the school district. We want to increase the number of workforce credentials that students are earning within this system. We want to make sure that we're increasing the number of application integrations we're doing. We're not trying to do this by ourselves. So now I'll get to the fun part of the demo. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you want to follow the journey of what happens with EdOS and watch the data, you can follow at Stimuli Tech or at Future of Dallas, which is the Dallas Education Foundation's website. If you want to follow my personal journey and get my perspective, then taylor at stimuli.net is the way you contact me. But this is the exciting part right here. With EdOS, teachers spend less time on administrative tasks like grading and taking attendance, and more time on facilitating and personalizing great instruction. Now it's time for our quiz. As soon as you're done, class is dismissed. Our system automatically calculates grades and sends it back to the student information system and saves our teachers a tremendous amount of time. They can launch their video chat or any of the new interactive materials into the student's classroom. Students use our avatar creator in order to select their attire, skin color, and hairstyle to represent themselves the exact way they want to in this virtual environment that enables them to connect and collaborate with friends, visit immersive industry partner experiences, and learn in a much more engaging way far superior to today's traditional classroom. Sophia can access her homework and assignments conveniently through her personalized game menu. In this example, Sophia missed class yesterday and there's no makeup packet for a teacher to create. As Sophia clicks on the class tab, she can access yesterday's past lessons, recorded lecture, and assignments. Today's class will be going over absolute value and peace rights function. We know students love to communicate and collaborate with one another. The world and the invisible learning experiences we can offer students is limitless. This task is not too large. A lot of people say this and say, it's going to be really difficult. And it will be. But our students and our future is worth it. Thank you all so much.